Welcome back to the vlog. I know. Where have I been? <laughs> what happened to Vlogist? We have so many questions. Well, I wanted to come on here and kind of... I'm in a parking garage. Did you guys hear that? There's like some... I'm in a really, really creepy parking garage right now. But I wanted to come on here and kind of do a little bit of an introduction to uh, a few videos that I want to upload for you guys. And I'm going to call them the Lost Vlogs of Vlogist. <laughs> so I did record a few different days, um, the second half of August, uh, that I really want to share with you uh, some things that I did with Ashley Beauty when she visited over the summer. Uh, my the rest of my August just really, really life just got in the way and I dropped the ball. I know I'm a sucky vlogger. I dropped the ball on vlogging. And then once September hit, I kind of had taken a little step away from YouTube, from my main channel and from the vlog channel and just refocus on me and what I wanted to do and what I wanted to, uh, what kind of content I wanted to create for you guys on my two channels. So anyways, without further ado, let me introduce uh, the first lost vlog, which is going to be a combination, I believe, of me getting ready to go pick up Ashley. I had like to drive from Syracuse to Newark to pick her up. And I may have to pop in to give some explanation as to what happened that day. But let's just get the vlog rolling. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is Vlogus day 29. I am just pouring myself a cold brew in, I'm inside of my Dunkin' Donuts cup because this cup is like amazing. It's like the best. I'm getting ready to take a road trip. Well, hold on. Let me just say this. <sighs> Vlogus has been a hot mess for me. I'm also throwing in some Cafe Mocha coffee creamer. Oh yeah. So what I may end up doing is simply just giving you guys what I can for the next couple of days and call vlog is done. I am packing up a cooler. I'm just hoping I have enough drinks. I'm packing up a cooler because I'm getting ready to take a road trip today. And you guys are going to come along with me and guess where we're going. So the road trip I'm going on is... I'm going to Newark to pick up Miss Ashley Beauty from the airport. So the first stop was to get a, pick up some gas, a little more ice for the cooler, an ice cream sandwich that I plan on eating absolutely like immediately. I just need to go down the road to a little sub shop called Brooklyn Pickle and pick up a couple of sandwiches for us to be able to eat on the ride home so we don't have to stop anywhere. Uh, Ashley will probably be famished when she comes off that long flight. So I'm just gonna get the sandwiches now, make sure I have plenty of ice to put them on and they'll be ready for us to munch on on the ride home. Well, that was awesome that that place was open. So friendly. The subs look amazing. So now let's hurry up and get on the road because we need to make a stop. I can't remember if I mentioned it, but we need to make a stop first before we pick up Ashley is I have to go to Ikea because I have to return that broken mirror that I spoke to you about in one of my earlier vlogs. <sighs> Let's get on the road. Total gridlock traffic here. And I'm only about an 
hour and 15 minutes into my drive. <laughs> so it looks like I'm gonna be delayed a little bit. Hey guys, so I just pulled into a little rest area that I found because I have to go potty number one and number two, I need to get a refill of a drink and I just couldn't, I couldn't reach into the cooler while I was driving. So, well that's what I'm gonna do now. to get a drink. <sighs> this Dunkin' Donuts cup. I know I talk about it a lot, but there's a reason why. It keeps things so cold. Okay. That's perfect. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I'll be right back. So I did get a pretty close spot. I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm gonna put you guys down now. I'll, I'm not sure if I can vlog much because I'm gonna have two hands full while I'm bringing this mirror in, but we'll see. I'm seriously gonna start an I hate IKEA fan club because oh there's a plane <laughs> I still don't know if Ashley's landed yet but I'm walking out of IKEA without a mirror so I go to the exchanges wait let me get in the car I'll have to fill you guys in later I just can't talk right now and I can't even remember where I parked Okay. Keep right, then continue on to Brewster Road. Continue on to Brewster okay, Road. Okay, this lady's got to shut up because I think I know where I'm going now. <laughs> I just got to find the parking. Oh, I have no idea if her, I haven't had a chance to check to see if... Oh, this lady's right. still talking. How do you get them to stop? Stop. Okay. Um... I'm trying to locate where the parking is. I've been here a couple of times, so I kind of know where everything is, but I'm running like, I don't know if I'm late or not. I don't know. So I have to fill you in on the IKEA stuff. Oh my God, I am so frustrated. The title of this video is going to be, I hate IKEA. <laughs> Okay guys, so it's the next morning, in case you can't tell. I did finally find Miss Ashley Beauty. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> what an ordeal. Oh my God. It was. Her flight, like I didn't even see it listed mm. on the arrivals. On arrivals board. I thought maybe she was in the wrong terminal. She couldn't get connected to the internet so she couldn't tell me that she was here. <laughs> we think she walked past me I and think then... I must have walked because when when I came out I was constantly trying to connect to the internet to text and see I was here so I was looking at my phone oh, and I think I just was, didn't see it. Yeah, it was just absolutely crazy and plus my fiasco at IKEA oh which God, that's so... <laughs> I will fill you get guys in on all of that. But long story short, do not shop at Ikea, just shop online <laughs> and have them send it to you because that's what I'm going to have to do. Nice, stuff that. Okay, let me clue you in on what exactly happened when I went to Ikea and then getting into the airport to be able to uh, pick up Ashley. So first of all, as you saw in the clip, I had to wait at customer service because I had a broken mirror that I drove from Syracuse all the way to the Newark area to be able to return to Ikea to get a replacement one. 
Uh, first thing I want to say is that if you ever get anything at Ikea that could be potentially breakable, open up the box before you leave the store and make sure that it's all in one piece. I made the mistake of not doing that. So when she looked at the item and she went to return it, she said they did have one more of those particular mirrors still in stock. And I had asked her if it was possible for somebody to go grab it for me, you know, to kind of do the swap, because that's all I wanted to do was just get a mirror that wasn't broken. Now, I don't think I even mentioned it in this vlog, but at this point in time during the summer, I was having some major issues with my right foot. I was actually, there was times where I had to walk like with a cane. Um, not quite sure what was wrong with my foot. I didn't know it was plantar fasciitis or what, but uh, it ended up healing itself down the road just uh, by going to my chiropractor, etc. Long story short, I couldn't walk that fast or far and I was running out of time to be able to get to the airport in time to pick up Ashley. Well, unfortunately, she said they can't do that here, but they would give me a gift card and then I could go into the Ikea showroom and be able to get the mirror and then pay for it with a gift card. Okay, fine. Get the gift card, I go into Ikea. I asked three different people and each person gave me a different location for where they keep the mirrors in Ikea. So I'm running around inside of Ikea with my head chopped off, rushing, trying to get this stupid mirror. Finally, I find the mirrors and my mirror was gone. Somebody must have just picked it up or had picked it up earlier that day and it hadn't updated the inventory, but they were out of stock. Uh, I did find another mirror that the lady said, oh, I'm like, what about this circle one? So the mirror that I had originally was a square one. I saw the circle one that was also on a stand and she gave me the box and she said, yes, it's right around the same price. You know, you'll be able to pay for it with your gift card. So I take that circle mirror, go up to checkout, and when I'm in checkout, I realize that the circle mirror that she put in was the circle mirror was the circle mirror that just hangs on the wall and doesn't have a stand. I particularly wanted to have a stand because my makeup station is in front of a window and I don't have a place right in front of where I'm putting it for a mirror on the wall. So I literally just told the guy at the cash register, I'm sorry, I have to check out. I can't check out. Could you please put this in stock? And I literally just bolted. So that's when I, that's when the vlog picks up is when I'm walking outside of Ikea, just frustrated and pissed off that I spent all this time rushing around Ikea and I left without a mirror. So I get to the airport. I'm all frustrated. I'm all upset about the whole mirror thing. And I get inside the airport where I thought her plane was going to land. I could not see her flight listed anywhere on the arrivals. I was like, okay, maybe could she go in, maybe she went into a different terminal, which means I would have to leave, go out, repark, find the other terminal. And I'm trying to text her. She's not texting back. Uh, the Wi-Fi inside the airport is kind of wishy-washy. Uh, she, at that point in time, must have already gotten off the plane, but I didn't know it and couldn't text me because she couldn't connect, she couldn't connect to the internet. I'm running around, and normally at Newark, when you come in with an international flight, there's like one area that says international flights. Um, because her flight was had routed her through a different country, it came in not as an international flight it came in as a different as a regular flight and so she got right off she didn't have to go through the international gates and she just went to baggage which i didn't realize that so finally got her finally found her after oh uh, i think i would say probably about a half an hour 45 minutes running around the the airport so we finally got on the road and headed back to Syracuse, had a little bit of time to kind of relax and catch up, get some sleep because we knew we were going to have a big day uh, the next day, spending the day at our New York State Fair. <laughs> what a day. So we had a four and a half almost our drive back to here to Syracuse we came back. I was up for 23 hours last night. We were exhausted we did get a chance to pop in the hot tub and kind yeah, of relax the muscles and that was really nice and literally passed out so. I went to bed so early. We got up now we're getting ready to go 
to the New York State Fair, so that's gonna be. So um, we're about to start another vlog. We're gonna about to, <laughs> we're gonna about to start another vlog. So we're gonna end this vlog for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me during my travels to pick up Miss Beauty. We will have her here for at least a couple more days for the for vloggers. So enjoy the rest of your day. You guys, you guys, be awesome. She's enjoy not the even rest of your it. day. And I'm going to chat with you in my, my next video. video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.